Okay, I bet you must have seen these kind of short clippings from podcasts and streams go viral on Instagram and YouTube shorts. And well, you might have indulged in these kind of videos as well while scrolling through social media because I know I do. Hey, I'm Sanjeet from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. And in today's video, I'll be showing you just this. With Filmora 14's new features, you can easily make shorts from your favorite podcast or streaming videos. Oh, and before we get into the features and editing part of it, let's go one step back and find our content. And the easiest way to do so is by following your favorite creators and engaging with their content. This trains the algorithm to give you similar content. And well, the algorithm knows you the best. So if there's some kind of content that you're liking, the algorithm will push more of that for you. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's get onto the main part of the video, which is the editing. There are two ways of doing this in Filmora 14. So let's start off with the first one, which is the manual way. All right, so inside Filmora 14, if you're working with horizontal footage and you need vertical, use auto reframe. It'll automatically convert your video, keeping the speaker or key subject centered without cutting anything important out of the frame. With the help of text-based editing, we can quickly identify the best bits throughout the whole video. Instead of scrubbing through hours of footage, you can search by keywords in the text and jump straight to the good stuff. Once you've got that all set up and your timeline's looking good, you can use dynamic captions. Now, we've seen captions everywhere on social media. Captions are just really helpful to make your content more engaging and highlight the most important points and keep your audience focused. So what did you do when you first started? Like, what was the first idea? The very first video, weirdly enough, I, I played this stupid game and some hacker like killed my base when I was 11. And so I uploaded it. And don't forget about sound. You can now create background music with the new smart background music generator. So what did you do when you first started? Like, what was the first idea? The very first video, weirdly enough, I, I played this stupid game and some hacker like killed my base when I was 11. With these tools and many more in Filmora, you can create these shorts easily. So what are your thoughts on aliens? What? Do you think aliens edit their own videos and use AI? What, is this a podcast? I mean, I don't know, maybe. Do you think aliens use Filmora? <laughs> maybe, why I not? I mean, it's uh, aliens. I mean, Filmora can do this. That's pretty cool. And this. This is also pretty cool. Nice. I know, right? Now, if you want to speed things up... No, I'm, I didn't mean that kind of speed up, but to speed up your editing process, the new Smart Short Clips feature in Filmora 14 is a real game changer. It combines the power of AI and Filmora's features to make editing short clips super easy for you. So, let's check it out. With the new Smart Short Clips feature in Filmora 14, Filmora automatically scans your video, identifies the most engaging parts, and stitches them together into one clip. And you don't just get one clip. The AI scans through the entirety of the long video and creates multiple short clips for you. So just sit back and let it do its magic. And the reason I think it's a good place to start is because you're sitting back and like, you know, get into that chair and you see the production design, you see what the world looks like and you're like, oh yeah, we're back on Arrakis. Yeah. When they, when they showed the more close-ups in this movie of the Harkin and Soldier suits. So cool. We see them in the desert. We see this kind of like vent on the back of its suit that's circular. You can edit these videos by removing lines. It's fast, efficient, and perfect for those who are on a tight schedule but still want high quality results. And yeah. the reason I think it's a good place to start is because you're sitting back and like, you know, get into that chair. And just like that, your video will be ready for social media. Okay, now that you're done editing and you have your clips ready, it's time to publish them on social media. But hold on. What if I told you that Filmora could do this for you as well? Post your videos on social media. Yes, that means I would not have to do anything else. I could just chill. I could relax and just enjoy making more videos. Maybe have a coffee. And to help us with that, we have Filmora 14's new feature, which is the Social Video Planner. With the Social Video Planner, you can schedule your posts in advance across multiple platforms, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. From finding the best parts from a long video, to editing it, and even posting it on social media, Filmora does it all. Saving you time to make more videos and perhaps grab another coffee. And that's it for this video. With Filmora 14's new features, it's been easier than ever to edit your videos. Which new features are you excited to try out? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.